Now the rice is spoiling as we stand here. People are dying out of this. We need an immediate radical intervention. Simple as that. Now these were the words of a frustrated and disappointed farmer at Fumbisi in the Upper East region when the National Buffer Stock Company CEO undertook a fact-finding mission on the rice glut um, in that area. Peter Kwawadato reports. TV3 on Saturday, November 16, broke the news on the rice glut in the Upper East region. The expose on the farmer's plight continued through Sunday and Monday, highlighting the complaints from the cereal farmers. Full of moles, as you can see. The rice is getting spoiled. There are no storage places. We cannot also convey it somewhere in one store. That is the situation of rice farmers this year. Now, either I will get somebody to be hired to continue or finally fire will have to come and harvest it. The market women who are coming to buy, we have to chase them, give them bribes, buy guinea fowls for them before we even get them to come to our, uh, and then they buy the rice. And the rice is buy two and take one free. These and many other lamentations attracted the attention of the National Food Buffer Stock Company to move to the area to assess the situation and find a solution to the problem. The team toured the Bilimbisi Valley close to the Bosa South District capital, Fumbisi, a major rice producing area where harvested cereal were scattered at drying sites and deep inside farms at the mercy of the weather. Large acres of matured rice farms were yet to be harvested due to the breakdown and inadequacy of combined harvesters. The frustrated farmers did not hide their disappointment. The rice is spoiling as we stand in. People are dying out of this. You need an immediate radical intervention. Simple as that. When you come, you see, when you go here all round, we can take you to all the places and you will see that the rice is sitting there. We know the government can do it. It is a small thing for the government to do. And we know the president is able. And we know he will do. So if next year by this time it is not done, then we don't have a president. I'm sorry to say. Tempers were however calmed when the chief executive officer of the National Food Buffer Stock Company, Hanan Abdul Wahab, empathized with the affected farmers. I'm sure if they had come to buy your paddy rice, there wouldn't be any media. Don't report, don't have much, of a much of a problem because we are here to also create opportunity for people to ever not to destroy businesses. He further gave a clear cut roadmap on short, medium, and long term solutions to the problem. I'm assuring farmers that I am here with my team to address their issue. In a week or two, we should be able to clear this. We have over 1,350 registered licensed buying companies, but we, we term this situation as an emergency one. So we would have to carefully select those who are ready with resources to come in immediately and aggregate the excess grains. Sylvain Daudadana is the Bose South District Chief Executive. Nobody should feel mm. saddened that this is happening. Nobody should play mischief with it. Yeah. As if government has encouraged people to farm and that they, that they have now farmed and are not getting yeah. bias. It's just that... The way they used to experience it 2015, 2016, up to 2018, they are not seeing it no. now. But I can assure all farmers that the situation is going to change within the next week or two. Okay. And next year, we will not be talking about this again. Okay. It has happened, we've all seen it, but I can assure next year, we are not going to have experienced this kind of situation. It's only an opportunity for us to look at how we we'll solve it. And uh, this will not recur. National Project Coordinator for the Savannah Zone Agricultural Productivity Improvement Project is Felix Menkara Dramani. Planting for food and job has come with a lot of inputs and other things and has more than double yield. That is actually a major challenge now with respect to market. But of course, it's being worked on and I believe that uh, with time, all the issues we address. Some people is also coming in. We are procuring a number of combined harvesters. We are even procuring what we call um, automatic nurseries and transplanters for uh, valleys like this. One of the farmers, Abdul Kadri Mohammed, thanked the team but cautioned against failed promises. In fact, I am commending you for taking pains to come down all the way from Accra to come and attend to us. And it shows that you are human. And there's blood running through you because some people are suffering somewhere and you've taken the pains to come and see the reality for yourself. For now, the farmers can only hope that the two weeks lifeline will remedy their woes.